Hey guys, Ashton here, and welcome back to another Seiko, vintage Seiko video. We're going to look at one particular area uh, today. Uh, one, one common issue that comes up with the 6139 and the 6138 movements. Um, you guys obviously already know about the uh, the barrel wear points. Uh, we can see that this one here uh, is pretty bad and it's gonna need to be jeweled. We can see it's cut away. Uh, and the same goes for the main plate as well. So we can get o onto that. Um, and you can also look at that process on my previous 6139, 6138 barrel jeweling videos. But one of the issues we're going to talk about is in, well, you can see that this watch is in pretty rough shape. Uh, it came in, uh, in in pretty bad shape. Someone had painted the hands, um, just painted over them completely. The movement was just been serviced, but nothing had been fixed on it. So um, that's what we're going to endeavor to tackle today. But this is just a brief video to show you a couple of, a couple of things that we address here. Um, we have our minute counting wheel and we have our intermediate minute counting wheel now this jewel here is what our chronograph runner or our clutch wheel bears into into that top jewel now occasionally those jewels can be chipped or cracked uh, and we have a stock of them here i have a stock of them here to replace those but our intermediate wheel for our minute recorder, which sits in here, and our minute recording wheel, also face various wear issues. Now, previously, these two holes, or these two um, bushings, are just a brass bushing that is, uh, that is installed. We have the larger nickel-plated brass bushing which sits in the minute recording wheel, and we have the smaller um, brass bushing, which uh, is for the intermediate minute recording wheel. Now, what happens is over time, you have steel pivots wearing into brass bushings, and these bushings wear, and they cause a lot of side shake when they wear. Now, side shake makes our hands tilt, and it makes things not work correctly. So in this particular example, or this particular watch, the intermediate minute bushing was so worn you could just see it was about the thickness again of another pivot that's how much it was rocking back and forth so it was rock 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 um, that was the side shake so we want that to be tighter so what I've done here is I've actually installed an intermediate minute counter jewel in there uh, to fix this problem and also prevent any further wear. And I've installed a new brass bushing for the minute recording wheel. Now, why have I picked a jewel here and a brass bushing here? Well, simply it's because of availability. We can get a correct size bushing uh, that's made um, in here um, for the minute recording wheel, um, but we can't get a jewel because a jewel is not available in that size. Um, uh, and the reason we're using a jewel here is because we can't get a brass bushing um, available in that size, but a jewel is available. So what this upgrade does, it just really helps our chronograph. It's not something that we do all the time um, because it's not always needed, but when it is needed, this is the upgrade that we perform, and uh, we're noticing really good results. I'm really, really happy um, with this. Um, a lot of the times, the bushings will be gone here, so it's becoming pretty standard that I replace those minute recording bushings, but this bushing doesn't need to be replaced with the jewel always, so that's only when uh, when it needs doing. So that's another one of these little upgrades um, that we're offering here. I'm uh, stocking all these jewels um, and, and minute counter bushings. It's not particularly expensive to upgrade. Um, the price of jewels is crazy compared to what it used to be. Um, individually, you know, uh, they're an expensive product. 
um, so they only add uh, thirty dollars to the repair if we um, are doing both these both these bushings. So I hope that uh, explains a little bit some more wear issues. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the next video.